You know what the crazy thing is about all of this, bro? For this, for this elitist, bro. How is why is it that the elitist Kazuya players are considering dropping Kazuya now? Because he has a move that makes him easier. What? Cartel, my people, my babies, my dogs. What's going on with y'all boys, man? Y'all already know what time it is. It's your boy Golden Ghost, and welcome back to the Golden Ghost Cartel 2. Baby, man. What's going on with y'all boys, dog? Right. I think it's time we revisit a certain topic, bro. I seen a couple comments, bro. I responded to some comments. I engaged with some comments. I had a lot of interesting conversations regarding regarding this discussion that we had last week um the tekken elitist mindset bro so real quick there's a couple misconceptions i want to um i want to lay out because there's a couple things i got wrong in the video that i need to explain and elaborate on okay so first things first a lot of people seem to have missed the initial point of the video because if you watched it and looked at my points that I made, it kind of gave off the, I guess it might have gave off the impression that I was attacking Kazuya players. That's not what I was doing. What I was doing was I was trying to say just because you hit an electric, that's not an electric, that's a wing office, but just because you hit an electric, just because you're able to do wave waves at 90 miles an hour and able to mix people up with the shit at high level. Just because you're able to get Kazuya up to an upper echelon rank compared to other people, that does not mean you are obligated. That does not allow you, that does not give you the right to attack to attack players who or isolate players who choose to use easier characters. Cartel man, what's going on man? Editing goes here. <laughs> I spent about 20 minutes fumbling around my words, so I needed to articulate myself better in posts. <laughs> so, like I said, Kazuya players, bro, were not the target of the video, bro. My video targeted people who think because their character is a high execution character, it just automatically puts them on a pedestal against other players. But the reality is, when these players lose the easier characters and get their egos hurt and want to send hate mail, kick people out of their lobbies, or dox them, it's all dodging around the fact that the person using the easier character isn't as good execution-wise, but they still outplay them in every other aspect of the game. Alright? That's the issue with the elitist mindset, is that it's so narrow, and yet they're so quick to undermine people for their character picks on a game that they paid for, bro. You don't need a high execution character to play these games, to have fun, and to even beat players better than you, bro. And if you don't believe me, then you can believe Eris. Because it seems like he understands. <laughs> he seems like he understands, bro. And this is somebody that actually, he his way of learning is different than mine. He he He's one of those people that like to, um, that like to practice, that like, basically like to value hours and hours into the practice mode me personally i get all my practice from actually experiencing and jumping into games and jumping into the matches and stuff i spend like maybe 30 minutes max on practice mode just to get a game plan going and to learn a couple combos and then after that i'm trying to experience the game so he has an entirely different learning process than me he's he's one of those people that like to spend a lot of time in practice mode and he agrees with what i'm saying bro roll it and that's it i never felt like i was good at tekken Never. I just thought I was good at beating people who are good. You know, because I could understand, like, what they're expecting from someone who is perceived as good. You know what I mean? Eris is Batman. Dude, that's true. Batman's my favorite. Prep time is the biggest fucking thing there is in any game. It's really true. Like, if you... Let's say you're really good. Like, you are so fast and, and you got execution and... Your reactions are great, but you have never seen what the opponent can do. You can't win. That's just the way it works. If you don't know the matchup, it doesn't matter how good you are. You've never seen it. That shit's going to fuck you up. Eris Batmanians. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
And that's the other thing I meant too about when it comes to practice mode, bro. It's different when you're trying to practice and learn how to deal with different matchups and just practice and just learning one move, bro. And then once you do learn it, then you all of a sudden you want to shit on other people. Like that's crazy to me. This was the main thing I got wrong. I think this is the number one thing that I got wrong. Um, let me go ahead and say. So the main thing that I got wrong was saying that uh, Kyle Arena's 444 spam. I was wrong saying that negative nine was punishable on block. Kinda. Let me explain. Doing this, you know, blase blase, it's negative nine. And with it being negative nine, you can't do a true punish if they choose to block, you know? If they, they sacrifice their turn when they do this, right? They sacrifice their turn when they do this because it's negative nine. And if they choose to press anything, they're getting punched. They're getting, they're getting punched in their mouth. But here's the thing. If you're playing against a Katarina player who's, sma who's mashing fours, who's mashing fours, you're playing a Katarina who's mashing threes repeatedly, and you're blocking them, you should still 1-1-2. One, one, because if I go into the mine, if I go into the mind of a Katarina player that's just spamming fours, but here, but look though, if I'm in the mindset of a Katarina player that's mashing threes and mashing fours, I'm just gonna keep mashing buttons in general. Why would I why would I stop pressing? Especially if you're getting hit by it, I'm gonna keep pressing. But let's but here's the thing though. Most Kata, this this is why I say most high level Katarina players are not even going to spam that. Most Katarina players are not even gonna really be using three. They're gonna or not even really gonna be using three unless you did something really unsafe and they can punish you for it. Or if they're doing fours in into heavier stance. And then like I said, if they press anything, they lose their turn. If they press anything, that's a punish. Not a true punish because of negative ten. But it's if they press something, it's technically a punish nonetheless. But anyway, negative 10 is the main punishable frame. It's negative 9, so my bad on that. That was my mistake. But like I said, bro, if you're playing somebody that's mashing 3s and 4s, I'm going to assume they're mashing all type of other stuff too. And you're probably just going to be able to one one two them out of it, bro. And speaking of that, there was a comment, there was a comment that said what type of what type of madman was was press after doing that? Considering the amount of people that bitch and complain about that move being spammed and mashed on Twitter, you would be fucking surprised. Okay? <laughs> and we're just gonna leave that right there where it's at, man. Okay, so this was the main comment I want to highlight right here by Cool Main Bro right here. But um Okay, so Starts off with my mans who said this move's easy but punishing negative 13 and 14 on block is difficult along with doing down 4 2 perfect electric wing god fist combos most difficult part of using Kazuya. And I concur, bro. I concur. Now, like I said, the point was never to attack Kazuya or to attack this move. The point was to use those as an example to basically hammer home the point that Tekken players who have this superiority complex just because they got some execution needs to stop which basically brings me to this comment right here nah I disagree try taking an easy character to high elo then try taking a Mishima to high elo it's a completely different fucking story I think the problem lies with people having inferiority complexes it's pretty easy to admit the skill and difficulty gap is wide in Tekken for character to character especially comparing characters like Mishima to something like Katarina once you take a Mishima to high rank, then talk about the so-called elitist mindset, and I guarantee you people will struggle hard as fuck to reach high elo with Reyna. Anyone who gets offended by this shit has never taken a hard character like Mishima to high elo, and all this is coming from a whole wrong player. <laughs> I could stop it right okay so first first bro first of all use Hua wrong so already I don't like you but let's focus on this 
Try taking an easy character to high elo, then try taking a Mishima to high elo. I'm gonna hit you with a bombshell that's gonna blow your fucking mind, okay? Because because this is online Tekken we're talking about, right? I could easily, easily boom shit my way up to a high elo using using a Mishima, just doing hell sweep, doing hell sweep and four four three mix, bro. And don't say it's not possible because we've seen it done multiple times. If you watch your little fucking meme videos with fucking um where they do like the little Kazuya.exe or type shit or Kazuya's Broken by your favorite Tekken YouTuber who makes a little mashup ADHD montages and shit for people with low attention spans. No no disrespect to y'all boys, by the way. That, that's some great content. That's, that's some fire shit. But hey, man, if you watch them type of videos, bro, if you watch them type of videos, you know, you know how easy it is to just do a couple moves over and over again. And mix people repeatedly. Mix people repeatedly. And just 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 with the same mix. And you can just easily get your way to high elo, bro. Another thing. On Tekken 7. And luckily this is fixed in Tekken 8. People can just farm opponents over and over again. Until they get the rank they want. Because they have infinite revenge matches. So just find one person you can beat, and as long as the person is stupid enough to keep rematching you, you can just keep farming points. <clears throat> like, if you have somewhat of a decent fundamental set with a character, and you know one or two gimmicks, you can easily bullshit your way up to a red rank, a purple rank, a blue rank with Kazuya. Just do hell sweet four four threes, do it with your occasional um with your occasional low, one one two punish shit. And you'll get your ass to a fucking high elo in no fucking time, bro. You can literally do it with other... Like, bro, I literally got Nina to a Divine Ruler spamming Snake Eyes, bro. Like, online Tekken is not hard at all, bro. I got Lily, I got Lily to a fucking Genbu spamming cartwheel flips. Getting getting to a high elo on this game is not hard. It's a, it's a baseless argument. And this, which is part of the reason why niggas say rank doesn't matter on fucking fighting games. Which is an entirely different video for a whole nother fucking day. I think the problem lies with people who have an inferiority complex is it's easy to admit the skill and difficulty gap is wide from character to character. Of course. That's not what I'm saying though. That's not what I'm saying though. And another thing. Difficulty that gap is incorrect. Execution, execution gap and execution barrier. Unless you're playing like characters that are doing like um Damn, that Korean backdash I got kind of nasty right now. But yeah, bro, unless you're playing a character that has like some DLC properties like a Noctis or some shit like that, bro, you still have to do your basic fundamental shit. You have to do your jabs. You have to do your have to know down four ones. You have to do some, you know, some lows and stuff. You have to know different little things. You have to know how to play defense. You have to know how to punish. There's so that's it's almost like I'm repeating myself from the modern controls and casual controls from Street Fighter all over again, bro. There's so many different aspects of this game that make Tekken what it is. That makes Tekken hard, bro. Once you take a Mishima to high rank, then talk about the elitist mindset. Now this shit right here, it just exacer it exacerbates the exact problem that I'm talking about, bro. So you're saying, in order in order to even talk about the problem, you have to be able to use the character and get him to a high level. <laughs> you need to be using the character I'm using to get to the high execution, and then you can talk about the problems. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. You toxic. Some of you toxic players that use these characters, these high execution characters that are toxic with it, bro. Y'all be gatekeeping the fucking characters anyway. People gatekeep the character already as it is, just for them to talk shit. When when you use the easier character and beat them, but I'm not allowed to talk about it because I'm not using the character and getting them to a high rank. Can't win with these niggas, man. And I guarantee you, people will struggle hard as fuck to reach high elo arena. Somebody hasn't been doing their homework, baby. <laughs> if you, for those of you who don't know, Reyna has a down four or three, and that down four or three is an automatic crouch dash. 
So niggas gonna be hitting all types of auto hill sweeps, auto electrics, and all type of crazy shit. I don't know if it's perfect electrics you can do, but it's gonna be some auto wind god fist going stupid on that ass. Guaranteed. So <laughs> get ready. Get ready to see high elo Reina players that's just doing the same 50 50 50 mix up but on easy mode because they got an easy mode wave dash i can't wait for you to get fucked by it let's look at this i think people buy into the memes too much paul and law are both master characters but they do have a lot of depth to them at a higher level and the same applies with every tekken character the same applies with every tekken character and then same thing in reverse what well, bro like this man my man's right here really just said what I said, but smarter. He said, you had me until you said the time thing. At first, I didn't, I had no idea what he meant by that because that still is a valid excuse, bro. Because not everybody has 40 hours, 20 hours, 8 hours. Some people don't even have 2 hours a day to be specifically trying to practice, okay? Learn to play Mishima's for fun. That's cool. Wasn't thirsty for online. That's cool. You're exposing your true mindset. You want to win the quickest and simplest way possible. That <laughs> that was a wild shot in the dark you took. But I'm going to be completely transparent with you. Wavy Jay-Z. I'm not trying to win in the quickest, simplest way possible. <laughs> and I'm also not very thirsty for online. The reason why I play online is because I want to play under people and I want to play other people to improve. If I wanted to win the quickest and simplest way possible, I would not play online. I will play bots. I will play arcade. I will play something else because Tekken is a hard fucking game and 70% of the time, 70% 70 of my fucking matches are me fucking losing. But I don't see losing as a bad thing. I, I rage, I rage when I lose to annoying shit, when I don't know how to deal with it. But losing is never has never been an issue. The the reason why I personally don't um don't want to go in a practice mode and spend my entire time on practice mode is because that's not how I learned the game truly. I've never learned the game truly that way. The way I've learned the game is by going in and actually playing other people getting in matches yes practice mode is important practice mode is how you learn the basics and stuff you learn the certain moves you practice your combos you get your combos down you figure out certain stuff like that but at the end of the day it all but like 90 percent of my experience 90 percent of the things that i've learned and picked up on have has been from me actually getting out in that field and getting my shit kicked in learning the moves that do and don't work against people have came for me going online and actually playing other people and getting them, getting that experience in. Anyway, sorry for the little side rant there, but I just really need to drive that home that 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 was a wild accusation that you threw down my throat, bro. Um, people are never gonna stop complaining. Competitive games has always been that way. When I played Zafina, she was cheap because she had too many moves. I played Claudio has the same five moves. I played Julia, she's DLC and, and cheap. Like, bro, she's been DLC since uh, since Tekken 3. I'd argue with anybody either. I hear, I hear making friends offline is usually better, which is true, which is true. The last um, the last Tekken um, the last offline Tekken tournament that I went to, bro, it was stacked. It was stacked for local talent, bro. But it was like everybody there was all chill, even the Kazuya players, even the Julia players, even the Anna players, bro. Who else I ran into? I even ran into some King players, but they were all chill. Except for one, there was a Paul player who 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 um broke his controller. But <laughs> all right, so this is probably the best comment in the entire thread. If I'm be 100% honest with you, bro, I didn't even know what he were. I didn't even know he said something three weeks ago. I guarantee you, the elitist players would love for everyone to play Reyna when they struggle hard as fuck for everyone to hit high elo grinding years. The elitist opinions will finally be validated by majority of the player base. Oh man. You really are one of those, huh? Like I said, bro, I cannot wait for people to get whiff punish <laughs> by down four three two win god fist. <laughs> Easy mode win god fist, bro. Oh man. You know what the crazy thing is, bro? 
You know what the crazy thing is about all of this, bro? For this, for this elitist, bro. How is why is it that the elitist Kazuya players are considering dropping Kazuya now? Because he has a move that makes him easier. In Tekken 8. He has a move that makes his game plan a lot simpler to do. He has a move. He has a move that's really fucking good, which I'd argue is necessary for him to compete with the other bullshit that the rest of the cast has. And what do the elitist Kazuya players do? I'm thinking about dropping the character after 10 years of playing him. That's crazy to me. You should embrace the buffs your character gets, bro. Unless it straight up breaks the character. Unless it straight up breaks the character, you should embrace your buff character, bro. The thing is, ranked is a bell curve in folks' attitudes. Most elite seekers when you'll find is probably around red to blue ranks. Their, e their ego is the highest. Low ranks don't really care. They're learning the game. High ranks, emperor and above, know how to play the game and know what to do against characters. But the mid ranks, the ego is high because they think um, they achieved the high rank. And when they lose, it's not their fault. It's the other guys spamming it and block spamming uh, that might have a lot of validity to it because most of the people I fight is from Fujin to Emperor. Play Kazuya and don't be sheep. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I had to go back a little bit because I for completely forgot a point from my boy Wavy Jay-Z, bro. Saying Mishimos are paid to win because of a cross-up is a dumb argument because their bolos and moves are way easier on tons of characters with cross-up. Okay. I forgot to point this out, but I'm pointing it out now. That might be a dumb argument, but it doesn't mean it's not true. You know? it Just because all the other moves are easier to do with, with cross-up, doesn't mean it's not easy to do electrics. You know what that means? It just means that cross-up's a, um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? A pay-to-win controller. So it doesn't really, you know, negligence my point. doesn't really uh disprove my point it is a dumb argument but look it is a dumb argument because it can be applied to multiple characters but the fact that you can do it the fact that you can do it is doesn't that say something about somebody's execution if they're using a pay to win control to do these hard ass moves like what are we talking about so in conclusion bro like i already said main point of the video bro people should be allowed to play how they want to play who they want to play they shouldn't be uh, they shouldn't be judged for it i don't care who you use and how you play unless you use Huang wrong i fucking hate you if you use Huang. wrong um uh, so yeah man this is a nice little discussion we had bro y'all want to talk about some more bro we can talk about some more up in that comment box bro i might have to make a part three you know so all that being said man it's your boy golden ghost Appreciate every single one of y'all boys that tune in to this type of stuff as always. And I will catch y'all in the next video for some more Golden Ghost Cartel, man. And I'm out this thing, man. Peace.